laying outside or climbing a tree, look up and around and look out for electricity. If you see a pole that's looking like it's about to fall over or leaning a bit too much, look for the number and you can report it on our website and we'll come check it out. Your pet doesn't know about electrical safety and what they can and can't nibble on. You can create a safe place for your pet to play where they can't access any electrical hazards and they can have fun. Did you know that 15 people a year in Australia die as a result of electricity incidents at home and over 300 people a year end up in hospital? Electricity and water don't mix. So whether you're in the kitchen or the bathroom, make sure you keep your electrical appliances away from anything near water. If a hair straightener, a hair dryer or a hair curler is left on for too long, it can get so hot that it can cause a house fire. It's important to turn off the power at the wall and pull out the plug whenever you leave the room. If you feel a tingly tap, it's a sign that something's wrong. Make sure you call Osgrid so they can send someone in to check it out and make sure it's safe. Toast jammed in the toaster again. I know what to do. Good, I've got my safety gear on, I can get the toast out. No, there's a better way. You turn it off, you pull out the plug, and use these trusty wooden tongs to take out the pieces of bread. Simple. Hello, here's my working from home electrical safety tip. Don't overload your power board or your power points with too many appliances. There is always a temptation to run lots and lots of different pieces of equipment out of these units. And the problem is that you will overload your circuits, which may result in electrical fires or damage to your electrical system at home. Stay safe.